something else that happened in Puerto Rico that I find kind of interesting. Uh, Puerto Rico's votes, 12% of Puerto Rico's votes comes from inmates. And despite Bernie Sanders' camp applying to have multiple representatives at the uh, prisons in Puerto Rico to help uh, oversee the, uh, the voting process, uh, all of Bernie Sanders' people were just rejected. So there was no supervision in the jail cells in Puerto Rico, except the Hillary Clinton people were accepted. Bernie Sanders rejected. Hillary Clinton accepted. So what happened in Puerto Rico? Well, there were these interesting stories that the inmates, uh, some of the more ruthless inmates in the prisons were threatening to kill the other inmates if they were to vote for Bernie Sanders. Okay, so I know most people are probably rolling their eyes right now. They're like, okay, this is way, this is, you're like you're reaching, dude, right? You're, you're just like going overboard with this inmate thing. But let me tell you a story that might give this an air of believability. I know a friend uh, whose mother, this is a very credible person. He's very uh, professional uh, and a very successful person in his own profession and what he does. And he's been, um, his mother has been working for the church in Louisiana for, I believe, like over 10 years. She came out and told him that the church leaders in Louisiana were being paid by the Clinton people so that the church leaders would essentially endorse the Clintons for the churches. I know, I know CNN is not talking about it. In fact, most people are not talking about it. But I know from personal source that the Hillary Clinton people went to Louisiana and paid off church leaders. So when you ask me, is it possible that when Bill was in Puerto Rico that they had some of uh, Hillary's people paying off the prisoners to act um, in this very, very aggressive, uh, you know, way towards the other inmates. Yeah, yeah, I believe it's possible. I totally believe it's within the character of Hillary Clinton. I mean, you have to understand this woman will do whatever it takes to get elected. She is a warmongering, power-hungry individual. She doesn't care about the value of human life as was shown in Libya intervention in Benghazi. She just wants to win. It doesn't matter if it's dirty politics. It doesn't matter if she, if she has to scratch somebody's eye out. She will do it, okay? So yes, I believe it's possible that they paid out prisoners in, in uh, Puerto Rico to, to act like vigilantes and ensure that Hillary Clinton gets all the votes and makes sure that she wins Puerto Rico. Gosh, man, I'm getting heated just talking about this. Um, but look, there's more. Okay, so um, somebody sent me a message on Facebook and it was a, basically it was a mathematical statistical analysis regarding the states in which had a trail ballot versus the states that do not have a trail ballot. Basically, there's some states that you can kind of counter-reference whether the, the written vote uh, correlates with the electronic vote. And there's some states where you don't have that, that paper ballot. You don't have that written record. So there's no way to record uh, voter fraud, so to speak. There's no, you just have to take the electronic vote as it is. It so happens. It just so happens that for all the states in which there is no paper ballot, meaning there's no way to prove uh, voter fraud, it just so happens that Hillary Clinton tends to win those states overwhelmingly. And for the states in which does have a paper ballot, it just so happens that she tends to lose those states at an unusual number. Now, let me tell you the type of number we're talking about. We're talking about a standard deviation of 3.74. If you were to look at this mathematical analysis, if you were to look at the formulas and how they calculated, the capability of that happening by just coincidence, is less than 1 in 10,000. That is direct evidence. That's a significant result that shows possible voter fraud. Let me repeat that. A 1 in 10,000 is a significant statistical result that highly implies voter fraud is happening. What I think is even more interesting about these numbers is that if you were to tally these numbers in the 2008 elections, that didn't happen. In the 2008 elections where Obama beat Hillary Clinton, there were no deviations from the norm. There were no standard deviation that, that flirted outside of the norm. It, it was just right there, perfectly in the norm. It just, this election, just happens that this particular election, 
there's this enormous statistical irregularity. Statistical irregularity. This is important because, you know, when we first discovered an atom, we didn't discover an atom because we could look at it. We discovered an atom because of mathematics, because statistically, we knew that an atom had to be there. So yes, you can use the st statistics to, to, to derive certain facts about life, like when we first discovered an atom. And here, what I'm seeing is statistics that is showing me that voter fraud did indeed happen. The statistics is showing me that we're not living in the democracy that we think we should be living in. Okay, there's one more interesting fact that I want to show you here. There were multiple caucus states and Bernie Sanders won almost all of the caucus states. In two of the caucus states, there was supposed election fraud. Happened to be Nevada and happened to be Iowa. There were only two caucus states that really had voter irregularity. And it just happens that both of those states are the states that Hillary Clinton wins. You guys can do the coincidence. You guys can do the math to see if this coincidence is all possible. Um, voter suppression is actually a real, uh, very highly effective tool um, for Hillary Clinton. The reason why I wanted to talk about voter suppression is because right prior to the California elections, there were these supposed secret delegates. And I say secret delegates is because they were anonymous. They weren't, their names weren't uh, being allowed to, to be said on, you know, on the news. But apparently enough secret delegates secretly contacted the news agencies prior to the biggest election in primary, which is the California elections. And they, what, just suddenly say that they have their allegiance to Hillary Clinton just so that she can break that magic delegate mark, just so that CNN and all other news networks can call her the presumptive nominee the night before the biggest primary election. This is classic voter suppression and it's happening at the highest level from CNN, from mainstream media. It's happening in your faces. It's like, to me, I find this, this is so insulting to the American people. The fact that an organization like CNN can just suppress the vote. Can, I mean, they were actively working in secrecy with delegates that they're not announcing whose names they are to suppress California votes, to try to convince California voters that the election was over. What's more is this is all based on the lie. You know why it's based on lie? Because the superdelegates have not voted yet. And what were to happen if Hillary Clinton was to be indicted? Do you think all those superdelegates would stay the way they are? Representing the Democratic Party, having a leader that's going to be a, a criminal? Of course not. Of course not. That's why the superdelegates cannot be counted. There is indictment charge that could possibly happen. There are things happening in the background. It's not just about the delegates or superdelegates in the election. That any criminal investigation should be conducted in the, uh, independent of any sort of political interference and that people should be treated uh, the same way before the law, regardless of their uh, political influence, regardless of their political party, regardless of their political stature. Uh, and regardless of what political figure has endorsed them. You cannot count the superdelegate votes based on inferences before they were ever voted. And then you try everything you can to secretly contact people the night before the election to pontificate this lie to the rest of the, the America. So that what? Just so that they don't have a fair democratic election so that there's this major voter suppression that's happening in California? Come on. This is insane. As you can tell, I'm very upset. I'm pissed off at CNN. I think this election cycle, they're the type of uh, news reporting that I've seen, it, it's, uh, it's not just unfair, it's, it's downright reckless.